A lot of the knots we use in surgery come from very humble beginnings. The Miller's knot, for instance, was developed hundreds of years ago by the people working in grain mills. They used it to secure the openings of large sacks containing milled grains. Since a sack of milled grain was very expensive at the time, these knots had to be very secure. And it's that security that makes the Miller's knot perfect for tying off blood vessels before they are cut during surgery. It's created by passing a length of suture material around clamped blood vessels twice to create two overlapping loops. The needle driver is then passed through the first loop and a double throw of the long end of suture material is made around its tip in a counterclockwise direction. It then grabs the short end of suture material and both ends are pulled in opposite directions to tighten the loops and constrict the vessels. The overlapping loops create higher friction in the knot portion of the ligature, which prevent it from loosening before a series of square knots can be tied. The Miller's knot is so secure that it can provide leak-free ligation at even high arterial pressures, whereas the surgeon's knot could definitely not be trusted in such high pressure situations.